still in place along the I-5 corridor, so low relative humidity and all of that wind going to continue to pose a really high risk for fires as we head through the next couple days. Now, as we head a little bit farther south, we are talking about these high wind warnings and wind advisories. So those are going to be sticking around as well. We are talking about winds anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour. Gusts could be even higher than that. And we're going to continue to see those winds really pick up as we head into the overnight hours. Now, heading into your Monday morning, you can see still some wind in the picture, especially along the I-5 corridor, but not quite as much as what we're seeing overnight. Along the coast, you'll have a little bit of a breeze, but not quite as much as those wind-prone areas. And then once again, as we head into Monday evening, we're going to start to see those wind speeds picking up and lingering into about Tuesday morning, and that's when it's looking like these winds are finally going to die down, and we'll see a little bit of a break. This was earlier this afternoon, though. You can see from our Blue Ridge Sky Cam some of that smoke just rolling through. Not quite as intense as what we saw out there yesterday, but still very hazy out there. So a lot of us... Uh, uh, heading outside to some hazy and some smoky skies from all of these fires that have been burning. Taking a live look right now, you can see that smoke out there. This is from our Palmdale Sky Cam. Temperatures coming in low 90s for you, so it's warm, 91 degrees, sunny. And look at these winds, 29 mile, miles per hour, so just shy of 30 miles per hour for you. LAX, cloudy skies for you, not quite as windy, still seeing a breeze in the teens. And then air quality, of course, a concern with fires out there, moderate for most of you. But as we head into the IE, we are seeing unhealthy for sensitive groups. Now, high pressure has moved out. We've got a trough of low pressure that has rolled on in. That's going to dip our temperatures as we head into the next couple days. So Monday, Tuesday, that trough sticks with us. Still talking about mid to upper 70s for LA, though, and of course, that wind we mentioned just a moment ago. But highs tomorrow, the warm-up comes our way. So we're making a return to the 80s by next weekend. Valleys, it'll damp the wind, and we're talking about warm temperatures. Gusts tomorrow, possible to be up to 50 miles per hour, and by next weekend, those temps back in the triple digits.